What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. And with back to school season around the corner, I promise you the full video is coming soon. But today I want to focus on five great white sneakers that you can be adding to your wardrobe for back to school season this year. Without further ado, let's get started with a pair of kicks that clearly I've worn a whole bunch. I've talked to you guys a whole bunch. It's a pair of white high top Converse canvas sneakers. Now these guys are classics, they're easy to rock, they look nice and slim on your feet. They're really affordable for what they are. And especially for back to school season when it's not super cold yet, the rainy season hasn't really started yet, it's still like kind of nice and breezy out. These are the perfect choice. So if you want to opt for these, the canvas is a great option. Of course you can play with color if you want to, but of course today is all about white sneakers. That's why in the Vans I also have the all white old school canvas Vans, which as you guys hopefully recently saw my video where I battled uh, between the, the Commerce and the Vans. These are my new favorite when it comes to affordable, classic, American style sneakers. And same thing here, affordability, classic style, and now adding even a little bit more comfort for the price point that you're moving within. And if you want a shoe that's a little bit more mm, all year appropriate, you can also opt for the leather version of these that aren't actually even more expensive which I think is an awesome great deal. So these two sneaks, the Vance Old Schools and the Converse High Tops, talked about a lot and I can't talk about great white back to school sneakers without mentioning the two of them. But now let's move on to some more unique styles. Starting with the Adidas Super Court for $80, I think you really get a shoe that's nice and unique. Adidas is a brand that has been around forever and they kind of reinvent the styles that they've had forever. I don't know if you guys know this, a little history lesson in fashion. Adidas stands for Adolf Dassler, who founded Adidas. Puma used to be called Ruda, which is short for Rudolf Dassler. So it was actually two brothers that were working together and then eventually split up. So Puma and Adidas are brothers. To this day, the HQs of both companies are literally just split in Herzogen Aurach by this tiny little river thing. So that's a little fashion background right here. Don't have any Puma sneakers for you today, but let's continue talking about these. Really sleek lines, nice details. Everything is kept in all white, so you really have a, a lot to play with here with the layers of the leather. Uh, you still get the three stripes, but they're in this case perforated with a very thick hole, four, four holes of them. Four holes make one stripe, apparently. I really like the sleek line, but they're still a little bit more bulky, so they're moving in that medium range, which I think makes them easy to style. So that's my third recommendation to you. Sticking with Adidas, but leaving the below $100 range with these new Night Joggers. Now the Night Joggers come in all white. I actually opted for the ones that have a little bit of a black highlight around the sole, around the heel, and even in the toe. I absolutely love the design of these. They're incredibly comfortable and almost alluding a little bit to the, the whole chunky sneaker, dad sneaker trend that we've been seeing for the past two years, but in a manner that is so easily wearable and easily integratable into any one of your guys' wardrobes. So if you guys mess with Adidas overall, recently I've, I've found myself struggling a lot with you know the balance of the Nike socks or Adidas socks, with the Nike shoes or Adidas shoes. So if you have a bunch of Adidas socks, you should probably opt for these. I really, really like them. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below, not only of these, but of any of these in the comment section. And let's talk about the last kicks that I'm really, really excited to show you. And that's the Air Force One Mitt Utility Sneakers from Nike. So the first Nike kicks, if you don't consider Converse Nike since they're owned by the Nike company. This is a throwback for me. This is what I was wearing when I was in school, which I'm not anymore. Sometimes the irony gets lost on me a little bit, the fact that I'm talking about a back to school video, but I'm doing this for you guys. So these are absolutely, absolutely beautiful, I think. I used to wear the Air Force One high tops in all white. That was my jam, like day in, day out. Now these are the mids and, uh, and the new utility design, which I think is absolutely dope. You have a couple buckles on the front. You have a large uh, Nike swoosh on the side, but not along the shoe, but it's actually on the, what do you call it? On the elastic <laughs> that uh, replaced the shoelaces here. And on the back here, you have an exaggerated heel tap, which I really, really like also in that elastic with a black detail on the heel. So that's about it. Guys, I want to wrap up with these. Oh my God, there's actually, oh, I just, <laughs> I just saw that there's also a Nike swoosh on the inside. It's white on white. So <laughs> that's cool. That just surprised myself. <laughs> uh, a, no, no. <laughs> okay, time to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Those are five of my favorite back to school sneakers in white. 
for you guys to shop. I try to keep it budget friendly, as friendly as possible by trying to get you guys as stylish as possible. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you guys so much for watching.